it has to go nice and tight and it won't move, like for example right here. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Charlie with another video. This time we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the drum. We, that was a question a couple weeks ago and uh, how to actually adjust the drum. So let's go back there. But before we do, please subscribe on the YouTube channel. That allows us to uh, spread more of the information around and um, follow us on Instagram. So here we are on the floor. I decided to use uh, a face plate without the door and the charge gate this is how we do it here but obviously you're going to have uh, a, a slider uh, harder time because you have the cooling tray you have the door but it can be done why did I do this because you can see the, the, the actual measuring and the actual measuring is very simple it's a 1.5 now I know the manual will say I believe 0.5 but the tolerance is uh, 60 thousandths which is a 1.5 millimeter which I have here uh, you can get your feeler gauge is gonna look different on your toolkit but the fact remains that it's 1.5 just stick to that so north south east and west and I'm gonna do it right now and if you can get away with just north south north south east west on this one then that's fine too because the drum on on here the graphs can the, the gaps gonna be a little uh, a little more if you notice I can put the gap and it moves freely. So the idea is to put the feeler gauge in here and you don't have picture this being the drum. You don't you can't do that. It has to go nice and tight and it won't move. Like for example right here. See? It, it, I cannot turn it. So that's 1.5 and you go here and you go here. 1.5. But if you really want to verify take the charge gate off those screws and then you notice I can put it so there it is here here and here and if you spin your drum when the, when it heats up there's there's no way beans can go through here so but when it heats up you won't have that rubbing because if it starts rubbing it creates tension on your uh, motor and it could potentially trip the uh, the breaker so thank you for watching and uh, see you later